Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Of course, this is John with Flippin' Ain't Easy. And this has to do with offers to watchers. Now this is all optional. Of course, you don't have to deal with this, but I would recommend sending offers to watchers whenever you can. It's so, so critical. Uh, people right now more than ever are looking to get deals, guys. They're looking for deals. I get messages and I get offers from, from people who want a deal, maybe too good of a deal, but nonetheless, people want deals. And your price may not be low enough, but if you send them a discount to those who might have been interested, maybe a watcher, then you have a chance to make a deal that maybe wasn't there before. Now, I want to show this to you. And I want you guys to kind of follow along if you can, because this could cause you problems if you're not careful. Now, I don't know what's going to happen here. I know it happened this morning, but I'm going to go click on uh, offers to watchers. And as you can see, I have four offers that uh, I'm dealing with right now. And uh, let's see what happens here. I'm going to send an offer to this buyer. And I have a template already made. I would suggest, by the way, that make it a personalized template blurb that you put in this message. So as you can see here, I have, uh, here's your chance to get a great deal on this item. We're offering a steep discount to only a limited number of interested buyers. Once this sells uh, out, the sale is over. Please don't miss out. Now, th the whole idea behind this is you're creating a sense of urgency that once they get this offer, then they're going to be like, okay, I got to have it. This is a great price. I'm not going to get it any lower. Uh, jump on it, that type of thing. Now, this is a an iRobot Roomba S9. It's one of those uh, disposal stations where your little robot goes into and parks, charges, and it empties uh, the bin. So I have it for $98.99. I think I had it for like 100 and some bucks, but after my markdown sale, here's where we're at, $98.99. So as you can see here, under the send offers, it gives you three options. So the drop down will give you percentage off, amount off, and offer amount. And what happened to me this morning, uh, so I had an offer amount. So on this, I'll do like $84.99. I'll give them like, in this case, it's four, it ends up being 14% off. Try to give offers that are over 10% if you can. I understand if you uh, maybe just listed the item, I get this all the time, or I just list the item, an hour or two goes by, I'm already getting people watching the item. You don't want to necessarily get all that aggressive with your offers with that. Maybe maybe you do the minimum. Minimum is 5%. So I base my offers on one thing, and that's this simple thing. How long has the item been sitting in my garage just waiting for the right buyer? Now, I might have the right buyer here, and they viewed it. So what can I do to get that sale? If it's something that I've just listed, I might do 5%. If it's something that's been sitting for months, I might do 20, 25%, which may seem aggressive, but I'm not trying to open a museum. I'm trying to get these items out of here. So in this particular case, uh, 84.99, 14.14, this item has been sitting for about, I'd say a uh, couple weeks. I'll try to do over 10% on just basic items. Let's get this thing out of here. But I have it as offer amount. Now be careful. If I was to put amount off, and put $84.99, um, it's gonna say, look, you're trying to offer an 85% discount and it's only gonna be $14 to the buyer. Look at that. And uh, you're not gonna be too happy if you sell it for that. So be very, very careful. So I'm gonna go back down to offer amount, $84.99. Now what I encountered today, and I may encounter this today, I don't want counter offers by the way, uh, and I don't want to send automated offers. That's just me. It's up to you and what you want to do. But what I encountered this morning was after about the second or third one, I had 13 offers to send to watchers this morning. And after about the second or third one, it started changing it to amount off and percentage off just randomly. I don't know if you guys have dealt with that before, but it's crazy. And you're at the same time, I was on Beards Live this morning. And I'm sending offers and I'm focused on what's being said on the live, but I'm doing the work at the same time. And I almost sent an offer. If I didn't see that red little thing that I just showed you, um, you know, an 80 something odd dollar item I was trying to sell for 
$69.99. It was trying to give a 69% discount. Well, I would have been pretty upset. So um, be very, very careful. So I'm going to go $84.99. And again, it'll give the option to send automated offers. I know a lot of people like the idea of sending automated offers. The, the reason why I don't is because, again, I'm trying to send the offer percentage based on how long I've been sitting on the item. It might be easier just to, boom, send one um, automated offer for all of your items, 10%, 15%, and then just move on with your day. This is what works for me. This is the way I'm going to be doing it. Now, the last feature here, counter offers. I would be very, very careful with that. Depends on if you want to haggle if you or maybe have an item. I would only utilize this for me if I've had this item for a couple months and I've been sitting on it. Now, my 20, 25% offer in my eyes seems to be reasonable, but they may come back and want like a 30, 35, 40% discount. And now I have to then evaluate what am I into this item for? Am I going to still make a profit? And if it's a large item, if it's a small thing, I may not even move from it. I, I might not even allow counter offers. But if it's a large box, it's tying up a lot of my space and I can move it, make a little bit of money or, and or not take a loss, then I may just consider moving away from that item and allowing them to counter offer. So just depends on how aggressive you want to be when sending offers. Uh, but for me, that's kind of how I use this. And I like the setup that they have right now. Don't get me wrong. I just think that there's a glitch and, and put in the comments down below if you've encountered this where it changes this. So right now it's on offer amount. I'm going to put $84.99 uh, and then it says that I sent an offer. I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to paste my little blurb there. It says offer amount again. This is a this is an air fryer and it it's hard to really tell by this picture, but this is an open box one where it still has the factory tape and uh, all the cushiony material, the factory packaging, but there's some dents on it. And uh, that's the, the problem. I only have it at $35 plus shipping. So, I mean, I'll go down. I'm only into this for, I think my buy cost on this it cost averaged out at about, I'd say seven or eight bucks. It isn't that big of a deal. Uh, for me, it's something that if I can move for, uh, on from it, I'll put $27.99 which is a 22% offer. And I will paste my little blurb in there. Uh, don't need to mess with these two down here. Make sure it says offer amount and then send. Uh, here's another one, my Hoover. I have one of these left. We had three of them. They sold pretty fast. Uh, the Hoover Clean Slate Vacuum. And I sold all three of them at a discount. So if I go $54.99, I think before I had like $69.99, but again, my markdown sale brought it down to $62. And then by bringing it down again, it's 12.7%, which is better than if they were to go on and use my coupon. So it, it's the last one I have. If I still had three left, I probably would have brought it down to about $49.99. So you got to kind of determine, you know, get a feel for uh, all that. Again, offer amount, it's not percentage off or amount off. So we're good. And then I'm going to send. And don't rush through these either. I mean, it may seem like it's a process that you don't want to deal with, but it's better to be safe and give out the correct price and not a percentage off than to regret it later. Uh, because eBay, they're not going to allow you to come back and say, hey, I canceled the sale because uh, of the price. That's going to be a ding on your account. It's going to be like an out of stock return. Uh, I mean, cancellation and you don't want to do that. So this one's a, uh, a front wheel hub for a, this is one of the auto parts that I get. We get auto parts all the time in liquidation. I've been sitting on this for a while, at least over a month at this point. And I'm going to, even though it's a new item and it's a good price uh, right now, but $24.99, it uh, gives a discount of 20% and it's uh, offer amount. Always look at your recap right here. That'll tell you everything you need to know. I'm going to send it. And I'm done. And I probably would will come back here and do another round of these probably two more times today. Maybe uh, this evening after I eat dinner and then one more time before I go to bed. It doesn't take very long. And if you're not already sending offers to watchers, guys, I would definitely recommend doing so because uh, 
you know, it does show activity. I'm a firm, firm believer of getting in there and updating your listings, end item sell similar, offers to watchers, and even allowing buyers to make best offers. Just me. I uh, want to know what you guys do as well. But sending offers to watchers, making it work for you, finding a formula that works for you is yet another example of how flipping ain't easy. I want you guys to hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, hit that notification bell if you enjoy this content and want to see more of it. And until next time, we'll talk to you guys very soon. Take care.